Opinion mining from text is by no means solved, but the explicit representation of the textual tokens, the words, means that determining the sentiment of those individual tokens is made relatively easy. However, non-text media is also an important part of the social web, but the tokens available from multimedia are not so explicit. The main thrust of non-text opinion analysis is attempting to raise the semantic level of the individual non-text tokens. In some specific cases, this is better solved than others. For example, face detection algorithms have made big leaps forward in the last decade. Models can be fitted to faces which allow features to be generated for facial expressions, and that hints at the image's implied sentiment. Another way is to classify an image's sentiment based on its overall appearance. So if you take positive and negative images from the web and correlate features within them, such as their global colour distributions, you end up with an average image against which you can classify new images. Experiments have shown positive images to have warm, bright colours and negative images to have dark, cold colours. It's clear that using non-text media alone is not a robust way to sentiment analysis. Indeed, certain images may have different sentiments depending on their context. And so it's in this way that text and non-text sentiment analysis can be used to support each other. So if some co-located text talks about a depicted entity in a positive way, we may assign a positive sentiment to the image for that specific context. We can then aggregate the sentiment of that image over many contexts. In some cases, the aggregation will show ambivalence. However, it may show the image is consistently used in a positive way, increasing the probability that we can assign a positive sentiment to the image in any context. It's in this way that non-text media can then support the text analysis. In cases where the sentiment analysis from the text is inconclusive, an image of an entity that's used consistently in a specific way can help to solve the unknown in the text. <laughs>